Prince William was pictured hilariously messing around with his children Prince George and Princess Charlotte at the coronation concert last night as he waved Union Jack flags in their faces. The little prince and princess were sat in between him and their mother Kate, Princess of Wales as they enjoyed a front row seat at the spectacular show on Windsor Castle's East Lawn. Get the latest royal news straight to your phone by joining our WhatsApp community. Fans on social media noticed the sweet dad moment, with at Eisger tweeting, not Prince William putting the flag in Prince George and Princess Charlotte's faces ah 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 ah. He is such a dad. Over 20,000 fans traveled to Windsor to join the Royals for the concert as a Lionel Richie, Katy Perry and Take That took to the stage to perform some of their biggest hits. Take That, who performed live together for the first time in four years, led a tribute to the late Queen Elizabeth with a rendition of their classic Never Forget. Actor Hugh Bonneville hosted, with celebrities including Tom Cruise, Hugh Jackman, Pierce Brosnan, Dame Joan Collins, Amanda Holden, Hamza Yassin, Giovanna Fletcher, Odie Mabuse, Richard E. Grant, Bear Grylls, Dynamo, Alan Titchmarsh, Tracy Emin and Sir Tom Jones sending in videos of good wishes for the monarch. Muppets Ms. Piggy and Kermit the Frog were two surprise guest performers, with Kermit even appearing in the royal box. The most emotional moment of the night came when William gave a heartwarming speech dedicated to his father the King, whom he referred to as Pa. He told Charles, we are all so proud of you, before making a touching reference to his grandmother the Queen, saying he was sure she was keeping an eye on us. The rest of the royals watched on as William made the speech, with Charlotte looking delighted as her father stepped out for the speech, pointing at him and nudging older brother George to capture his attention. The future king pledged to serve king, country and commonwealth, while highlighting his father's enduring commitment to duty and his people. He said, for all that celebrations are magnificent, at the heart of the pageantry is a simple message. Service. My father's first words on entering Westminster Abbey yesterday were a pledge of service. It was a pledge to continue to serve. Don't miss. Prince George and Princess Charlotte can't hide the light at Miss Piggy, latest, blind and autistic Lucy leaves Royals speechless at Coronation Concert, Spotlight, Charles and Royals show off dance moves at Coronation Concert, reveal, because for over 50 years, in every corner of the UK, across the Commonwealth and around the world, he has dedicated himself to serve others, both current and future generations, and those whose memory must not be neglected. Take the natural world. He warned us of the risks to our planet's health long before it was an everyday issue. For the Prince's Trust. It has supported over a million young people, many from disadvantaged backgrounds, to realize their ambitions. And, perhaps most importantly of all, my father has always understood that people of all faiths, all backgrounds, and all communities, deserve to be celebrated and supported.